Top Talkers ready to go with uh, our topic today and our great panel, Candace Drover from Magic 100. Good morning. Good morning. Cub Carson from Cub and Company. Hi, Jeff. How are you feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. Good. Thank you. That's uh, Cub. From great job with the weather today. Too. Oh, awesome. thanks, man. And there's, hey, Kurt Stidley. Kurt, from this you look like you program. got a tan. I What's did. On, buddy? I did. I'm very jealous, yeah. You I was in the Mexico. It's oh. interesting. It's interesting that Cub starts with a pat on the back. Because uh, so we're talking. And said, "What a great job you're doing." What a doing. great job, because we're talking about whether or not your boss should play favorites, should give you a pat on the back, and whether or not that's uh, conducive to an equal workforce, or whether or not an equal workforce actually produces more. So, do you think that your boss should play favorites, Candice Drover? No, I don't think your boss should play favorites. I think you should be rewarded if you do a good job, and everybody should get recognition for that, but not necessarily pick a favorite, because then everybody else is going to say, "Well, what are they doing that I'm not doing?" And they're going to be less productive. What well, doesn't that make you want to strive like to be the person who's the favorite? Mm. Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I already know In I'm the way. favorite, so it doesn't really matter anyway. I like that. Cub knows he's not. No, I've seen <laughs> I've been fired some, from some of the best broadcasting companies in this uh, in this country. So mm. yeah. No, I feel I feel good. I, it's it's rare when you when you are that, and I don't think when when you are one of the uh, favorites. Uh, I don't think you really realize it because it takes mm -hmm. other people that you right. work with to say, "Oh, look at you! Look at you! What did you do?" So teacher's right. pet. Why right. did you? Yeah, teacher's pet. Exactly. Right. And that's yeah. bullying. And, right. and, <laughs> and wait a second. My question is: If you are doing great work, shouldn't they be looking in the mirror, Kurt? That's what I. You know, that's the way I kind of look at it. The, the, the one thing I think is important is you establish a good relationship with your boss as as early as you can, and if that results in you being seen as one of the boss's favorites. Say la vie, my friends. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you're a valued employee and you're doing a good job. So, naturally, it wouldn't be human nature for me as a boss to go, yeah, I, li I like what Candace is doing. I like what Cubby is doing. Does that make you a favorite? Well, then so be it. But it's a tricky situation because we all know how, how people are they're so important nowadays. Yeah. Everyone's, everyone's got to feel important. <laughs> well, and that's a bunch of baloney. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it's true. Good work, uh, I think, ends up with uh, with good reactions. And so, if anything, it, would, it should inspire other people to, to try to pick up their game a little bit. Yeah, I want to go back to uh, Candace on this because I know that your first reaction was uh, you'd like to see the workplace feel like equal, like everyone yeah. has their equal chance. What do you think about rolling favorites? We're not saying that you're a, f a favorite uh, because I have beers with you after work. I don't think that's the point. I think it's because your work's outstanding. Uh, what if the one favorite for the month of July, almost like an employee of the month? Employee of the month? Well, kind yeah. of thing. Because then, like you said, it is a good point. If you are the favorite, most likely you don't really realize that you are the favorite right. until people start telling you that. So right. maybe an employee of the month or a different person every month would give everybody, you know, extra incentive to strive more and be like, I want to be that person. Maybe it, every boss should just hand out a mirror to everyone and have them have a daily affirmation before they <laughs> start Stuart the Smalley. show. Exactly. I'm good enough. I'm smart <laughs> enough. And, and doggone, doggone it, people like, like me. me. Kurt, let me ask you this. <laughs> is is there too people much... People like it, Cub. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, a couple of them. Is yeah. there too much equalization going on out there? And it, is our bosses too afraid to appear to have favorites? I think, I think they do have their favorites, and maybe they don't let that be known. Right. Whether they do or they don't is uh, is you know irrelevant, really. What people need to realize is, you know, in today's world, you really have to put forth your best effort at all times. There's no room for you know being lazy on the job, yeah. no matter what you do. What I'd like to see more of, and I think what is even more valuable than having favorites, is management in whatever field, and I'm necessarily uh, talking about this field because in a lot of cases, let's face it, if you don't hear from the boss, you're okay. Yeah. No news right? is good news. Yeah, yeah but it's true. It's a lot true. of times I would rather see someone recognized for the strong work they're doing. Right. And it doesn't have to be a big deal. Right. But to, to at least know that your boss or those in charge of, of your business actually realize and see what you're doing on a daily basis. I, I think that's very important. I think that's the big difference between like nowadays and, and back in the 50s and 60s and that like you know Norman Rockwell a uh, fantasy of, of the middle class and everything like that where if you work hard and you do your best every single day you're gonna be rewarded and now there's all these underlying currents mm -hmm. and underlying storylines you know that well yeah okay but then you end up with a boss that's a bit of a goof you know like uh, uh, first of all I would never say that because it's not my style. Who's but, your boss? Uh, Their boss is uh, on <laughs> vacation right now. He's so, you know, <laughs> I never see him. So. <laughs> Not my boss. That's good news. So the thing is, uh, I think whether, uh, if we, when you strip it down, I think it's the gold star and, and some of us uh, more than others require it. You always see in a job ad, ad uh, or typically see in a job ad, someone who's self-motivated. So, right, right. Uh, but I don't think everybody's self-motivated totally. Do you, you know, some people do actually need a pat on the back. Yeah. 
and I don't think it's a bad thing. You yeah. know? And I, like I say, I don't think it's a big deal. You don't have to make a thank you cup. Finally. Right. Right. Everybody. 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 Look at this. It's a mutual. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is where the magic <laughs> happens right here. <laughs> My legs. Nice. <laughs> Kurt, Kurt, at the end, Kurt at the end of the aisle actually giving Manti Teo's girlfriend a pat. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> she looks oh terrific. God. She's gorgeous, but I'm glad she oh, came no. back to I life. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I wore an Notre Dame shirt. I didn't even get that. There we go. <laughs> That's our Top Talkers panel. I want to thank Candace Stewart. We're out of time. We way. just got going. I know. Well, well, what are you cooking well. next? What's I, happening next? I don't know, but I know I'm the boss's favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to ask. That was my question. <laughs>